Hey guys, Stan here. Um, I want to talk about something that's very um, big in the bodybuilding community, um, very big topic, which is um, androgen receptor down regulation. Um, it's been touted for a very long time now that androgen receptor down regulation does not happen. Um, and it's been, it's been touted as this because um, studies just looking at the, the beginning stages of um, steroid use showing that um, androgen receptors upregulate when we take anabolics. The issue with this is that those studies aren't showing um, months, many weeks into the cycle, um, the androgen receptor expression. Uh, and that's exactly what this video is going to be about, uh, what the studies show. And androgen receptors actually do downregulate and the importance of that, which is a lot um, or very, um, very strong. So um, jumping right into it here, um, I guess first let me talk about a little bit of uh, real world experiences here and results. Uh, many notice that when they first start a cycle within the first four or six weeks that they're, they're getting skyrocket, like, you can be doing almost nothing and you will grow amazingly or, or the first cycle first cycle you're you know you don't know how to train properly or eat and it was my experience as well and i shot up something like 27 pounds within the first four or five weeks and then i remember the gain just stopped after after the fifth week basically you know i saw like a pound and i started eating more i was like well I'm, maybe i need to eat more and i started eating more and more and i still I'd maybe see like a pound here or there and you'll notice this on forums too. It'll be all over. Talk about the magic of the first cycle you you gain without doing anything. Um, and then you'll also notice, you know, do a quick Google search of how gains stopped mid-cycle. And you'll just see thread and thread after that. They'd be like, hey guys, I up my calories by a thousand calories a day and I'm still barely gaining. The first, you know, the fit by the fifth week, you know, I'm on my fifth week and I'm not gaining anymore. And I've you know, I'm upping my calories in my first, you know, four weeks, I've gained 20 something pounds or 10 pounds and they're barely gaining. Um, so yeah, we, we, we see that a lot. We see that all the time. Um, and that's basically um, what I did was look for the studies to say, hey, why is this happening? Why, why, do, why does the magic of steroids disappear? Um, and this is what exactly the, the science shows is that the magic actually does disappear. Um, f first, I'm going to jump into um, the study on why androgen receptors matter and why they matter more than just your androgen levels. So there was a study on men. Uh, I think it was three different groups. Can't remember. I'll, I'll probably toss it up here afterwards. Um, it's in my article as well. I'll actually link the article. I already did the article. So they showed that the, the men with the most muscle gains actually had um, the higher androgen receptor content and the men with the least muscle gains had, um, the, the least response to res resistance training. And what, what is the most interesting of this study is that it showed serum hormone levels actually had no, um, it, it had no, you know, result either way. So a man could have high androgen receptor content and have low levels of testosterone, and he would see more more uh, muscular growth from the resistance training than the man with uh, the higher testosterone levels, but with low androgen uh, receptor expression. So this study is basically showing us here exactly what in the real world, what we see with uh, steroid use. Steroid use ups our androgen receptor uh, expression. We see amazing gains in then the androgen, the androgen receptors downregulate and those magical gains go away. Um, so androgen receptors matter everything for our gains. Uh, just how much? Probably about 90% is what the studies show us. Because there was another study on anadrol. Um, they put men on it for 12 weeks. They noted that 90% of the strength and the size was actually seen the first six weeks. So going an extra six weeks, double the time, saw a 10% benefit. Um, so you, people might, you know, there's no other way to, um, you know, just describe this with the men could gain that much strength and sides eating what they did eat and not see the re remarkable benefit for, for the, the next six weeks. Even if you are not eating enough to grow more muscle, they were still eating, you know, whatever they were eating to magically gain the weight they did. And even then strength, why would strength not have such a tr tremendous benefit? Um, which is what the studies on the actual androgen, um, 
receptor expression shows us um, there's a group of men where is the study here um, so they tested the androgen receptor expression at uh, month one which you saw over a, a, a double um, a, a double increase um, and by six months so they didn't test sooner which uh, you know which which sucks, but they still tested at six months, and they showed that the androgen receptors actually uh, the expression returned to baseline. Um, the study further goes on and shows that basically all they were getting from the androgens uh, when the receptor content uh, decreased back down to baseline was an anti-catabolic effect. So when people are saying on long cycles, all they're really seeing past the initial first few weeks is um, uh, anti-catabolic effect, which is great. But, you know, why would you stay on for that 10% benefit of an anti-catabolic effect and not come off or cruise and then uh, jump back up to a higher dose so you could get those 90% strength and size gains as uh, the Anivar study shows. Um, what else is here in the study? Um, there's another snippet I wanted to talk about. Um, yeah, uh, the increase, um, the beginning when the androgen receptors are, uh, the expression is increased. It shows an increased protein synthesis rate, um, which also returns to baseline when the androgen receptors, um, go back down to normal. Um, so yeah, you're not even getting that. You're just getting the anti-catabolic effect, as I said, um, uh, where to go from here? Um, yeah, back on a little bit of the real world experiences here. Um, you will see endless bodybuilders mention that they didn't see anything past six weeks. Some of them, they say eight weeks, but you know, I think they're just staying on, you know, cause who wants to end a cycle at six weeks? Um, Dorian Yates, uh, said he only blasted for six weeks. Uh, Kevin Lavroni, Sean Ray also said the same thing. They said they didn't see any more effect going any longer. So why would they stay on? Uh, Ian Harrison is another big, uh, is another big, uh, uh, pusher of this. Um, he says the same thing. He never saw any gains past six weeks. So why would he stay on? He went on six weeks, came off for a couple weeks, a, a short break, and then he went back on again. So, um, <clears throat> a lot, okay. A, back on that topic that a lot of people like to say that, oh, the pros are lying you know, they never come off. They sound five grand. They, they go nonstop. Um, the, the big issue I have with this is, um, what do the what would they have to gain by telling you, hey, stop your cycle for a couple weeks and and get back on it? Everybody likes to think, oh, the the, the reason the pros are so much bigger is because they're using bigger doses. That they, they stay on, um, and all this nonsense. If, if this was the case, we would not have Facebook groups and forums full of guys. Uh, you know, they're 170 pounds lean, um, if that. Some of them 200 pounds at a high body fat that are on for five years straight. I, I know anybody watching this has seen this on the forums and Facebook groups. There are so many guys that are on for years nonstop and they're on mega doses of that. They'll cruise on 500 milligrams. You know, some of them will cruise on a thousand milligrams. It's insane. Like there is so many people there are, you know, they're on nonstop. They're doing what they say the pros do. They're on mega doses and they're still nowhere near pro size yet. They say this is the reason the pros are where they are. Um, if that's the case, you know, people say, oh, it's still genetics is why they can't get there. You know, they're doing everything the pros do. They stay on. But, you, you know, if, if that was the case, we literally wouldn't see so many people that don't even look like they work out even and they are on um, these doses and these dosages and they stay on. So um, if anything, what this article shows in, in my experience of what all my followers and, and whatnot that I suggest is that. You, you, you're only hurting your gains. Um, you have your six week blast and four to six weeks. I actually prefer four weeks for the most part. Um, and then you have your off period. The off period will depend on what East, what drugs you took, you know, what Easter's and how long that drug is in your system for. Um, if somebody's doing, you know, a cycle with, uh, DECA as example, I like them to usually come off for about five weeks, but if you're using something, um, like, um, less um you know a shorter easter you get you the the break would be shorter um another thing that i like to um that I, that I like to suggest here is items that actually increase your androgen receptor content or expression um is um so one of my favorite things is l-carnitine um in the oral form um so the what this showed is that it increased androgen receptor expression the, the really interesting thing about this one study here is that 
the libido of the men increased higher than that of uh, testosterone. And the testosterone was at a high dose, actually. So it increased uh, androgen. It, it shows how important androgen receptor expression is versus certain hormones that I could give such a benefit there. Um, some more real world experiences with it is um, Aaron Curtis. It's, it's uh, something I suggested him to try, uh, even though natural. But again, it this is, you know, this is all of your your gains versus your serum hormones, basically. Um, he hadn't been training seriously for about two years, you know, just screwing around. Um, and he actually hit a PR on his deadlift in, in just a couple of weeks for somebody that was not training properly, and not eating properly. Um, Chris Duffin. Um, the powerlifter was another thing. Um, you know, he was doing everything the same, you know, um, his eating and his training. I had put him on a decent dose of L-carnitine I told him to take, and he saw his his uh, his bench went through the roof, um, something he normally doesn't train overly. He saw an amazing strength increase in that, and his weight shot up seven pounds out of nowhere where he hadn't changed anything, where normally he has to struggle to gain weight. Um, or, you know, uh, not struggle, but put in an immense amount of um, effort. Um, so yeah, that, uh, that is an item that increases your androgen receptors. Um, T3 is another item that increases androgen receptors. Um, uh, T3 in animal studies, you will see it increase um, muscle growth. Um, the issue with T3 is when you go too high, it's increasing protein turnover. So if you are not matching your, your, your T3 with an increased protein intake, you could see some muscle loss here, but at a normal healthy dose, um, which, which that varies. Um, certain hypothyroid people, example, in studies will require up to 150 mcg a day just to um, rid the hypothyroid symptoms. I'm not suggesting anybody to take any drugs, by the way, or T3, but in my experience um, from a normal bodybuilder that is doing T3 solo, I do prefer a T4. I will see them need somewhere between the 37.5, I'm using this dosage because you know what typical tablets come in, 37.5 to 50 to sometimes even 75 mcg for a great increase in um, muscle growth and steroid effects without seeing any uh, muscle loss. Um, I know that is against a lot of uh, popular belief that 25 is the replacement dose. I You, you don't see that a lot in studies in um, to rid actual hypothyroid symptoms. And you don't see that a lot in the real world. Um, 25 just puts you at, um, even a, for most people, again, because you have thyroid hormone sensitivity. Um, uh, that matters more than also just your serum levels. That's why they'll go by symptoms and studies a lot of the times as well. So you have to find your own dose there. Um, um, what else here? Um, that might have been it. Um, there's a few other uh, supplements that increase your um, uh, androgen receptors. Those are um, the strongest ones um, that I like to use. Um, so yeah, my suggestions is you run your cycles four to six weeks, um, and you and you come come off depending on the Easter for uh, a certain amount of time, and then you jump right back on. Um, like I said, most of you probably already know this. You you you've ran a cycle and you saw it gains just flat out stop around the fifth week or so, or you notice you're gaining more fat and not as much muscle as you were in the beginning few weeks. Um, so let me check my notes, see if I missed anything from uh, the article. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, no, already covered that. All right, guys, I think I covered it all. Hopefully I did. Um, again, my article, which dis which discusses it all anyways, is up on the website, on my main page, on uh, chan.com. Um, all right, guys. So, yeah, I think that's it. All right, thanks for listening.